I'm Candace, the Edgy Veg, and today I'll be reading you the plant-based news, our main story. What the Hellman's? Hellman's just released a vegan mayo after dropping their lawsuit against a small vegan startup. Not cool, Hellman's. Ben and Jerry's just released a new vegan ice cream. Panna Chocolate is giving back, and Guess Clothing is going to stop using Angora wool, but will continue to use leather. And then, our last story, a new vegan supermarket is opening in the U.S. Yay! <laughs> Hellman's is releasing a vegan mayo after a failed attempt to sue Hampton Creek. Unilever after public embarrassment, seems to think that coming out with a dairy-free, egg-free mayo is catering to their customers. I think that they're just embarrassed. Speaking of Hamptons Creek, they are now producing a new product. They are coming out with a Just Mayo Light. So mayo lovers that are more calorie and fat restrictive can now enjoy a mayo as well. The company's most popular product has made its way onto the shelves of Target, Walmart, Kroger, and many other mainstream retailers, so look out for Just Mayo Light coming your way very soon. Hampton Creek also recently won a Vision Award from the Sophie Awards, the Oscars of specialty fine foods. Well done, Hampton Creek. Exciting news on vegan ice cream. Ben and Jerry's have just released four new flavors, including Chunky Monkey, Chocolate Fudge, Peanut Butter and Cookies, and Chocolate Caramel Fudge. All certified to be vegan using almond milk, and even the candy mix-ins are vegan, which is awesome. So if you like ice cream as much as I do, head into your local retailer and grab yourself one of those. Panna Chocolate is ticking a lot of boxes with its raw, vegan, organic, fair trade, and certified kosher and halal chocolate. They are giving back using the organization 15 Trees. They have planted thousands of trees and are making chocolate that is free from gluten, refined sugar, dairy, and is kept as raw as possible. There are rumblings in the Fussy 2 camp that a big YouTuber is going veggie. On his birthday, Yusuf said that he was going to try a plant-based diet in 2016. Well, you know Yusuf. Uh, the Edgy Veg, my channel, has a lot of really great recipes that I think you'd really like. So maybe sometime you can come into my channel and I can teach you how to cook something. Just a thought. Just a thought. Vegan supermarket chain is coming to the U.S. Woo! In 2016, Vegan's a popular Berlin vegan-only supermarket, already with locations in Berlin, as well as Frankfurt, Hamburg, and Munich, will be coming to Portland, Oregon in 2016. It will also include a clothing and shoe store because Jan, the owner, said that it was difficult to shop when he changed to this lifestyle. I would have to agree with you, Jan. They are also opening locations in London, Zurich, Amsterdam, Barcelona, Milan, and Copenhagen. So yay for vegan shopping stores! Can you also open one in Canada? That's where I live. That would be great. Toronto. Choose Toronto. Thanks to 53,000 PETA supporters and members, Guess Clothing Company has decided to no longer use Angora wool. This is awesome because if you don't know how Angora wool is harvested, um, well, it comes from rabbits who are sheared while tethered or suspended in the air or they simply rip the fur out of their sensitive skin. That's pretty terrible, and I'm really happy to hear that Guess has decided to stop using that. They're still using other animal-based products like leather, but this is a step in the right direction, so way to go, Guess. I'm Candice the Edgy Veg, and that is the plant-based news. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button for new news every week, and make sure you head over to my channel, The Edgy Veg, for awesome junk food and comfort food recipes. And leave a comment below letting us know what new and exciting news you've heard this week. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Come over to my channel. Let's be friends. I'm Candice the Edgy Veg, and today I'll be reading the plant-based news. Top story, what the Hellman's? Hellman's, really? <laughs> I can never be an actual news.